Hello and welcome to the channel and episode 9 of the mini railway build and this episode will be focusing on the station which you can see in front of you which is now complete um, and this video will show how we got to this stage so sit back relax and hopefully you enjoy. So the first thing I did was paint the baseboard as you can see it's that brown section where the station is going to be and then out of foam I have cut a rough shape of the station. Um, I decided to use foam because of the awkward tightness of the curve. Um, I was thinking of using wood, but it's a bit easier to cut foam. So that's roughly the shape I want. Um, and then as you can see, it fits in that area quite nicely. And then I've also cut a ramp section for where the passengers can get up onto the station area itself. Um, so we'll look at fitting that into correct place. And then at the front, um, I've brought some platform edging and this is Pico stuff I got this from the Hinkley model railway show for under a couple of quid um, and that will hopefully tidy up the front section of the foam to make it look tidier and a bit, little bit more realistic and um, it comes on sort of like plastic um, but I think what I'm going to do and um, because the plastic won't bend as much as I need it to I'm going to stick it directly to the foam and then I'll use some filler just to fill in any missing gaps between the foam and the edging the most important thing that I need to do is make sure the clearance um, is okay because um, at the end of the day you don't want your trains or rolling stock to be crashing into the platform so getting a rough idea of where I want it and then I can work out where it's going to go and I can glue that down later on. So I've stuck down the edging, um, it's sort of self adhesive but I've also glued it on um, just to make sure it sticks and as you can see it looks quite effective. Um, there is a section at the front which is in a great shape uh, and as you can see there's gaps so I will use some filler just to fill in them gaps and try and make it look a bit tidier and then this is how it's ended up um, so I just need to go over it with some paint and just tidy it back up but overall it's tidied up the foam quite nicely and adds a little bit extra detail having, having the brick work effect on the front of the station. I then moved on to looking at the fencing because um, obviously there's a drop from the car part section so this is just cheap and um, white fencing I can't remember where I got this from I've had this for years I've used it on numerous layouts um, so I've ordered because it's foam I've just put it in place for now just by sticking it in but then I'll glue it in um, and I might paint it potentially and then to give me a rough idea I'm gonna have a couple of plant pots I got these from the NEC show a couple of years ago I'm gonna have my station building roughly there and we'll have a few um, benches. These are Backman scene craft ones. So I'm gonna have one on the left hand side, as you can see, and then two on the right side. And again, I can just push them into the foam for now and then glue them in when I'm happy with everything. But it just gives a rough indication of where things are gonna be and how much space I've got to play with. So that's the idea so far. And then I've got a couple of little accessories which you can plant down, but that's what the aim is. to have something like that, I think. And then from the back, just to give you a view, that's what it look like. So you can see the car park and then there's a ramp to go up. Um, I need to hide a bit of the um, messiness with some foliage, but we'll look at that at a later stage. So as you can see, I've added some glue down. Um, just again, this is my cheap PVA glue. And all I'm going to do is put down my platform and um, roughly where I want. Again, like I did earlier, just make sure I'm happy with the clearance from the track. Um, so I'll put some wagons past it in a second. And then once I'm happy with that, I will then put some weights down onto it, leave it for 24 hours to set off, then hopefully that platform will be solid and um, will be fine to use. So benefit of using the PVA glue, I can just move this slightly until I'm happy. And um, rather than use super glue, what sets obviously a lot quicker, so. Just make sure I'm 100% happy because at the end of the day I don't want any trains crashing into this. But I'm happy with that so we'll put some weights on it now and then leave it for 24 hours. So it's the following day and as you can see I've got trains running around. I've got the Dapol Hawthorne Leslie going around. And the station is now securely in place and then like I showed you earlier, I've put some of them benches down as well and I've also now added 
a few more things which we'll go through now. So as you can see, we've added a little bit of foliage around the front just to hide a little bit of the gap. It's not perfectly round. We've got some flowers um, which I've added. Um, and then we've got also we've got a post box and a telephone box and more flowers just to add a few more details and just fill up the space. And I'm quite happy with them. You probably wouldn't see a post box potentially or a phone box on a station, but I thought I've got the space there, so why not? And then I've added foliage behind of it to separate that between the car park and hide any of the messy edging. And as you can see, it's coming on quite nicely, this layout. And I'm quite really happy with how it's come on. Um, but there's a few more things we need to add, so we'll get on with them. So a few things we've done. So we've added a few people, but more more importantly, I'd say on the fencing, if I can zoom in, I've added some advertisement. Um, these were stickers. Um, I can't remember, but I've had these for years. I might I think they came through a magazine, um, but they are lovely just to add to the fences to add a bit more detail um, and a bit of character to the station. So I've got various different colours and sizes. I even stuck one on the back of the um, station building, Finn's Chocolate. Um, and I really like them, um, it just adds a bit more to the station. And then we've also added some people, um, so we've got a couple of people, some sitting down, some standing up, um, and there's an engine light there. And they've also got a person um, moving some milk churns, and I've got a couple of them as well. Um, but yeah, just adds a bit more detail to the station, looks like it's actually being used, so quite happy with how this is coming out. So thank you very much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the only other thing now I've done is added a couple of Scaledale lamps um, onto the station here. And as you can see the Dapo Horns Fawn Leslie is pulling in with a passenger train. And that will sum this video up quite nicely. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And then I will see you on the next one. Thanks for now.